Okay, we have here today an interesting exponential problem. We have three to the x equal to x to the ninth. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for me to use the Lambert W function. I haven't done a Lambert W problem in like a year. Now, one quick note on this, you could go ahead and do this without the Lambert W function and you can get to a solution pretty quick. But I think one thing that helps me here using the Lambert W function, I want to actually find all real solutions for x. I don't want to just get the one integer solution. I want to find all real solutions. Now for the Lambert W function, I'm not gonna go into all the details. I'll provide you a link to some of my previous videos on this, but I'm gonna use the tool that we have here that if we have the Lambert W function of something in this form, x e to the x, we just get back this input of x. And so now to get started with this, what I wanna do is I just wanna take the natural log on both sides. So we're gonna have natural log three x equal to natural log x to the ninth. And I'll move by log properties, move this out of the exponent so we can rewrite again. So I'll have this as x ln3 equal to 9 ln x. And then from here, what I want to do is I want to get all the x stuff over here, and I want to get all the numeric stuff over here. So to do that, I'll divide by 9 on both sides, and we'll have 1 9th natural log 3, and then dividing the x over here, I'll have this as 1 over x natural log x. And when I'm doing all this, I still have this goal over here that I want to get something in this form to use this. We're headed in the right direction. What I can do is let's multiply by minus one on both sides. So now we're like this. And if I do that, again, using log properties here, I can bring this minus one into the exponent. So now we'll have one ninth natural log of three to the minus one, I can write as one third. And then on the right side, doing something really similar on the exponent, I can write this as one over X natural log X to the minus one power is one over X. So now we're really starting to get somewhere because we've got this symmetry here. We're getting somewhere here too. What I want to do on, over on the left side, what I can do, if I just multiply by three over three, I'm just multiplying by one. So I'm not changing this at all, right? Well, by doing that, I can take this three and just bring it as an exponent here and multiply this three in here. So when I do that, what we have on the other side here is going to be one over 27, natural log one third to the third power this becomes one over 27. So then we have that same symmetry here on the left side. But now actually, if we just kind of stopped right here, what you notice is we have the exact same setup on the left side and right side. So at this point, just by observation, you can see that 27 has to be a solution because if we took 27 and we plug it in here and here, well, we have exactly the left side. So it wasn't hard for us to get our first solution, x equal to 27. The question is, is this gonna be our only solution? Well, let's just keep going with this for a moment. So I'm going to use a tool. We have this thing that we use a lot of times in integrals. If we just have something as A, some numeric value, something, I can write this as E ln A. So what I want to do is use this on the 1 over X and the 1 over 27. So like for 1 over X, I can write this as E ln 1 over X. And then for 1 over 27, I don't know if I have enough room down here, but for 1 over 27, I can write that as E ln 1 over 27. So using this over here on our problem, I'll just come up here for the for a minute and we have to clean up the board. So just coming over here for this 1 over 27, writing it this way, I'm just going to reorder. I'm going to bring this ln 1 over 27 up front. And then for 1 over 27, I'll use this and write it as e ln 1 over 27. And then we'll do the same thing on the right side. We'll have ln 1 over x times e ln 1 over ln 1 over x, just using this formula right here. But now at this point, we've done it. We actually have it. We have this in exactly this form on both sides, where we have the same input here and here on the e. And then here again, same thing here and here. So in both cases, we're perfectly set up to use the Lambert W function. Okay, so now that we have this perfectly set up, we'll go ahead and use this. We'll apply it on both sides. So I'll apply Lambert W function on the left side, Lambert W function on the right side. So when we do that, we just get back our input thing here. So in this case, on the left side, we're gonna have ln one over 27. On the right side, this becomes ln one over x. But now again, we're headed down a redundant road because you can kind of see we're gonna just get 27 here. If you plug 27 in, we have the same thing here. We can just follow through on the steps and rewrite this changing, using the log properties, I can write this as one over x equal to e ln one over 27. But e ln one over 27 gives me one over 27. So if 1 over x equals 1 over 27, we just get x equal to 27. So this is good for a double check, but it still doesn't answer the question if we have other solutions, and if so, what are those other solutions? Well, for that, what I want to do is take a look at a graph of the Lambert W function. 
Okay, so we have our rough sketch of the Lambert W function over here to the right. And this is gonna help us figure out if we have multiple solutions and what those look like. So what I wanna do is I don't wanna deal with the right side. We've got variables there, so there's no way to tell like where that's gonna lie. But notice this right here is a numeric value. And so we should be able to kind of plot that. We should be able to find this on this graph. And the key thing to notice here is if you have positive values of this input, well, there's clearly just gonna be one that's a terrible dotted line, but clearly there's just one real solution in the positive values because there's only one way to intersect this. this. This curve here is like approaching zero, but it's never getting there. Now I made a note of this point here, minus one over E, that's something like minus 0 0.368. So if you're less than that, if you're at like minus one, minus two, minus a million over here, well then you have no real solutions. You've got no intersection with this curve. All the solutions are gonna be complex. But the really interesting case is if you happen to have a value between zero and this minus one over E, you're gonna have two real solutions because you're gonna be right in this area and you're clearly gonna have two intersection points. So what I did with a calculator on this is I just calculated ln one over 27 and, that, and this gave me a value of something like minus 3.296, etc. And then I also calculated this whole value of everything inside the Lambert W function. This gave me minus 0.122, 0, 6, 8 on forever. Now a few things to notice here, our input here, this is clearly between 0 and this minus 0 0.368 value at minus 0, 1.22. So this line we have right here is clearly intersecting at two points, so we're going to have two real solutions to this. But the other thing we can do is we can use this value, because this is like our x value here, and so it's outputting this minus 3.296. So we have a solution right here, this here, this is going to be at the minus 3.296 value. And so what we've done here is we've used this value in order to get our x equal 27 answer. But now for the Lambert W function, everything below this minus one line, everything down here in this region, this is considered the negative one branch of the Lambert W function, where everything up here is the zero branch of the Lambert W function. Now we don't know, we haven't found this yet. We only got this solution. So we're still missing this one over here. And so in order to find our second solution, we need this right here. So what we actually need is we need the zero branch of the Lambert W function for this, all this stuff up here. But now at this point, I've got a little bit of bad news because I don't really have a nice way to calculate this. The way I can do it is with a spreadsheet or I can do it on Wolfram Alpha or some other computer tool, but I don't have a way to do this by hand. So what I did here is I just used Wolfram Alpha on this to get a solution of minus 0.14. 05, etc. So what I can do is take this, plug it in here and finish this off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have minus 0 0.1405. And on the right side, just using this again, this is gonna be the same thing as natural log one over X. So then we're saying one over X is gonna be the same thing as E to the minus 0 0.1405. But then to finish this, let's just take the reciprocal on both sides. So we're gonna have, now we have X is gonna be equal to E to the 0. 1405, etc. But then again, just using a calculator here, we get our final solution of 1.1508, etc. Okay, so there you have it, two real solutions with the Lambert W function. Thanks everyone for watching, have a good day.